Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I am officially at the end of all of the things that I wanted to journal about and um, I'm caught up with my life. <laughs> so um, I just have a couple more pages that I'm going to do with you now and then um, after this I plan on doing some journaling about our Halloween stuff um, which I will put out in the next couple of days. I I'm sorry that it's been a couple weeks since I posted a video. It's been kind of crazy in school. I'm reaching the end of the semester and um, everything just kind of gets piled on me at the last minute and they're trying to rush through the lectures and it's just been, it's been insane. So I'm almost done. <laughs> but, um, and then after that I'll dedicate as much time as I possibly can with you guys because I miss being able to make videos and journal and you know play so um, so yeah that's what's going on in my world right now <laughs> Jeremy has gotten a new job and he is going out of town a lot and um, it sucks and it's kind of new for me because I'm alone a lot more he goes out of town for like two weeks at a time so I'm just journaling about the first month of this job and how it has affected me and um, so yeah. Um, here I'm just putting, this is like, um, it's like a sheet from the, an atlas or something and it has like the approximate mileage to certain places so I end up circling um, where he has been going. He's been traveling to West Virginia and um, and um, so that's quite a bit further away from me than I would like. <laughs> um, so I'm just kind of playing around with where I want to put everything on this page right now. I thought that I wanted to back that, um, that photo of me and him doing a voice call or a, um, a video call onto some sort of linen. Um, and I eventually went with this linen here which I, I think looks really nice. It, I did end up covering up that um, matte paper that I put on at the beginning, but that's okay. No big deal. So this says, thinking of you, and I thought that maybe I wanted to put that on this page as well, but I end up putting that somewhere else in a minute. So I go ahead and glue all that down, and then, um, and then I'm gonna focus on the opposite page. This is um, like a little uh, where uh, where they put your chopsticks, like the little packaging from the chopsticks. Um, the first day that he came back, we had Chinese food, and we just kind of try to celebrate every time he comes home. So we've done something different every weekend, <laughs> and that first weekend we did Chinese food. The next weekend we did um, pizza from this pizza place that we had never been to before. We had been wanting to try it, so. Um, and then this little red and white checkered uh, deli paper is from when we went to an antique fair um, right before he went out of town for the first time. We went to this antique fair and um, it was really cool. I had never, I never knew about it. And so that was a fun experience for me. I'm putting a picture of my dog on here because when Jeremy's gone, my dog follows me around all day long and he's like the protector of the house, you know? And <laughs> so um, it's really cute because he'll just lay on me. He just wants to follow me around everywhere I go. He would never come in my room before and um, now he will follow me in the bedroom and he wants to lay on the bed with me. <laughs> he just will not leave me alone. <laughs> but he's sweet and I just thought it was adorable so I took a picture of him one day when he was sleeping on, on top of me. <laughs> so this, um, this is like a little um, note that Jeremy wrote. He actually wrote this note everywhere <laughs> before he left one week um, and I just thought it was adorable.
And now I'm just trying to decide what I want to layer that photo of my, my dog with. So I went with this linen here, which um, is also one of my linens from my Etsy shop. And I just layered that on top and then glued that straight down to the page. And then I had these tickets from the antique fair as well. So I wanted to include those on the page. That linen that I put behind the photo of my dog had a little bit of pink in it. So I thought that I could pull that pink in on the other page. So I end up um, just using double-sided tape and, and sticking that down to that page there. And I'm going to kind of use that as a tuck spot. This is one of the business cards that I got from the antique fair. So like I said, we had pizza one week weekend when he came home so that is the menu <laughs> to the pizza place um, and I don't end up doing anything to that except putting a piece of paper on the back of it so that I can journal on it so <laughs> about back to the future I obviously watched it as a kid and um, I just got like uh, reminiscent and it's it's kind of like nostalgic for me to watch that movie or those movies so I bought all three of the movies <laughs> and I've been watching that kind of as a comfort since he's been gone and um, it works I have other movies like that as well like I've always been kind of a, a huge Harry Potter fan and I watch Harry Potter a lot um, but yeah <laughs> it's just a comfort thing so that is a piece of wallpaper that I just cut down I'm just cutting that down and then I end up sewing around the edges to make that into a, a pocket and then I'm going to stick it down to that page with some double sided tape to make it into like a double pocket. Um, right now I'm trying to decide what I want to put in it, what I want to put on it. So I end up putting this label piece on top of the wallpaper just to annotate a little bit about what's going on. And then, um, like I said, I put that down with some double-sided tape to make a second pocket behind the wallpaper. And I tried to fit the Back to the Future thing in there, but um, that didn't work. So I end up sticking it on to um, just a sheet of paper to journal about that. <laughs> So this is a book page and there's like a girl that's sick in bed on this page and one of the weekends that he came home I was not feeling well at all. Um, I have like really bad asthma and I had like a serious attack um, and so yeah I was not feeling well and that kind of sucked because I don't have but a limited time with him when he comes home but, um, but it's okay. So here I am backing that um, menu that piece of the menu with some paper so I can do some journaling on the back of that I'm just trying to find as many places that I can do some journaling on these pages um, without you know having to write directly on the page and then this is a picture from um, from a spot just around the corner from us that I really like to go to it has like some of the prettiest views over the lake so um, I took a picture of that and um, that was right before he left for this last time, this last trip to West Virginia. So um, I went ahead and put that on there as well. And this um, I've had in my stash for a while, but it's like a picture of some heavy machinery. He um, operates heavy equipment. Um, so that was just appropriate for him. Um, I don't think I could have used it in anything else so it worked out. I ended up, um, I was thinking that I was going to make it into like a tab for that um, journaling spot that I'm, I'm just creating a little journaling spot for me and I thought that I could make it as a tab but um, it's just not working out right. So I end up just putting it in that wallpaper pocket and that's where I do most of my journaling.
So on to the next page. Um, we went to the pumpkin patch and I had a few little video clips to show you guys. <laughs> um, but obviously they have a ton of pumpkins of all kinds. And we went there, it's kind of a tradition for me, um, close to Halloween. Normally I go a little bit earlier in the year, but last year my pumpkins were like rotting by, the, by Halloween, so it didn't work out very well. Um, so I wanted to go a little bit later in the year anyway. And we went out there and chose a few pumpkins. The kids um, chose some pumpkins to carve and then we got some little ones and there were like some weird looking ones as well. <laughs> so I got one of those too because I just thought they were strange. I'm not sure if you can eat them. I don't know what you do with them. I guess they're just for decoration, but they're cool looking. Um, so, <laughs> okay, so my camera just like cut out and I didn't realize it until after I had finished the entire page, but I wanted to share it with you anyway because, um, you know, it was a special moment and it was relevant to um, Jeremy being out of town. That was on one of the weekends that he came back. So, um, but yeah, I mean, really all I did was I stuck that um, picture that I had backed with some um, scrapbook paper and um, some other like deli paper. I just stuck that down with some double-sided tape and made it into like a little pocket and then I held the rest of my photos in there. On that page I'm just um, creating some more journaling space for myself um, which I journaled about voting and um, how I feel around this time of year every year and especially how I feel around this time this year and um, yeah um, it's not anything spectacular that I did to these pages but um, but I just wanted to share them with you anyway um, I was kind of bummed that I wasn't able to <laughs> share the whole process with you but um, but yeah that's what happened it happens Um, so there's one last page that I wanted to share with you guys today and um, I'm I'm choosing a page out of the Granny Chic book again um, I had I had one particular page in mind I was kind of looking around to see if anything else would work but I end up going with the page that I thought would work best and um, so I just Cut that out of the book and then I'm going to stick it down on one of these pages here. So this page doesn't require a lot of um, stuff or work even. It's really really simple page and you don't need anything um, like pictures or whatever. I'm, I'm always using pictures and um, you know different kinds of ephemera and none of that is is necessary for these pages so I did want to include this just because I don't always have pictures to journal about sometimes it's just you know thoughts that I have or feelings that I have or whatever so I cut this out of a Daphne's diary magazine um, it's like a little poem and I just stuck that down to the granny chic page and then I just put some washi tape along the edge of that page just to make sure that it's stuck down and this I printed off the internet and um, it is a picture of the uh, Mariah Carey's new book and um, so I, yeah I just printed that off the internet and I stuck that down because that is the book that I was reading um, and there's a backstory to this. As a child I was, um, I always wanted to be a singer and so I would listen to Mariah Carey. I found one of my mom's CDs and it was Mariah Carey and I just became obsessed with her. And so I learned how to sing from her um, and just listening to her as a child. So all my life I've been singing Mariah Carey and so it's always been kind of somewhat like an infatuation with her. And um, she was my hero for a long time and then I read her book. <laughs> 
and so my feelings are, I mean obviously I there's always like um, I'll, I'll always love her you know as a as a an artist but um, but yeah they say you don't ever want to get to know your heroes and um, that is true I I was I was a little upset honestly um, I, I think the book was good it just it just changed her you know it changed her in my mind to like a real human you know and, <laughs> and she is a real human so I mean I still love her um, but yeah I'm just drilling about that um, I have a picture from when I went to her concert last year and um, I wasn't able to go to her concert when I was 17 I had bought tickets to go see her at, uh, years and years and years and years ago and I wasn't allowed to go because I had skipped school so um, I got in trouble and I, <laughs> so this was the next time 12 years later that she actually was in um, my area so I bought tickets immediately and went to that concert and um, that was a really exciting moment for me I took my mom and um, and it was it was a lot of fun um, so I just included that on here because what I'm journaling about um, is all of what I just told you um, about my childhood and about my feelings about singing and, and whatnot. So this is one of the linens from my shop and I'm uh, sticking that down with some double-sided tape to make it into a pocket, nothing special here. And then I'm just sticking that down to that opposite page. I did cover that page with a book page because I felt like the colors did not go with what I was journaling about there at all. I end up putting the picture of the concert, um, I end up just stapling that onto that journaling page that I put in the linen pocket because the colors were just not going together at all and um, I just like that better. I wanted to include the picture obviously for um, what I was journaling about but um, yeah it wasn't necessary to be seen. And then I'm just putting a little bit more journaling space in there and that is the finished spread. Super, super simple. Um, so yeah, that uh, is all I had to journal about today. Um, I hope you enjoyed that process anyway. I know part of it got cut out, but, um, but yeah, I hope that inspired you in some way. And um, I look forward to the next video when we do some journaling about Halloween and costume shopping and all that good stuff and I will probably have some more video clips for that video as well so you can see the whole process. So um, thanks for watching. Bye.